What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. My name is Sports Monkey, and we are here again. Like I mentioned, we are at, in the City Skylines DLC, Sunset Harbor. And for today, we are here at our forest industry. But for today, we are going to build the farming industry here in Fox Valley. So we're going to build the farming industry. This is a farming industry tutorial so this is the so for this episode you're going to need the city skylines industries dlc i will show you the the road layout for farming i'm going to show you how to put the main build build the main building for farming how to how to create the road layout so you, you do not have much traffic and you know we can traffic manage we can have traffic management going and make sure that everything does not turn crazy traffic wise so i'm here today with another farming tutorial and just to show you how to do it on this lovely map it is a rainy day here in fox valley but as you can see uh the first step in creating the farming industry in city skyline sunset harbor is you're going to hold down that lovely y button you're going to go to about four o'clock on the joystick while you're holding down Y and go to view info views. We're gonna go down to the little pointy rock things, which is our natural resources. And as you can see, we have a lot of farming resource or farming natural resources over here. So that's why I naturally chose over here. Now I did bring a little road over here to start off. Uh, what we're gonna do is kind of keep what we're doing over on the force industry what we're gonna do is kind of square it out again so we have main roads so the reason again why we have these main roads is because these industries create a lot of traffic and since we do not have traffic manager because we are not on a pc we have to try to manage it as best as possible with the roads we have so you just can't if you've ever watched anybody see, oh, that's an expensive road anyways if you've ever watched somebody play city skylines and they just use avenues galore that does not work unfortunately so i just want to let you guys know that now you do, you know just using a bunch of avenues to handle your traffic it won't work so i'm just letting you know that in advance so don't freak out Anyways, uh, so I'm going to put another avenue this way. I'm going to, yeah, we're going to keep it, we're going to keep it straight because guess what? We need those roads to go into this area and actually like branch off like we kind of did for the forest industry. So the first thing you actually need to do besides the road layout, which there, I'm going to get more into later on, is you do need to actually paint the district. So what you have to do is, again... Go back to the zoning and districts and go into the district slash painting tool. And we're just going to put it all the way over here and just go around this way. Um, I know this is not the prettiest. Again, I'm on the council. Oh my God. Why did it stop? It's weird. I'm on Xbox. So, the, you know, I'm just controlling it with my joystick. Hold down the A button and there is our farming district. We can expand it or shrink it as we please later on but for the most part that is that should be fine for now let's just go along that river or that creek or whatever you want to call it now once we're done with that we're going to hit the rb button and we are going to go over to the farming industry and then now it's labeled farming okay we are done with our farming industry no i'm just kidding <laughs> no um and now what you have to do is go over to industries on the right press a and then you're also going to have to paint an industry an industry district so i am not sure why city skylines makes you do it twice but you know we are going to paint our industry district now so i guess there there technically is two different districts which is not a big deal but it's just kind of weird how city skylines makes you do that now the next step is is you're gonna need a main building so we're, I'm gonna put the main building kind of over here it's our main maintenance building again it, it 
make sure all of our trucks are going working well and stuff like that. So now since the majority of our farming resources are up here, I would like to actually create a few different smaller roads just to branch off of here. So kinda and I'm I'm making them straight on purpose because we will have to link up our the farming the farms and you'll see that they're pretty much giant squares kind of like kind of like the forest industry just huge squares and let's see i don't know if i spread them out enough but we'll see in two seconds all right so there there it is so see how Okay, so I'm gonna so the, one of these roads. I'm gonna have to move this road over a little bit, but anyways, just for this purpose, for the purpose of me showing you. Now, as you can tell, that this is a what is called a large fruit field. Uh, oh, I'm gonna hit that pause button. And we are we're building a few of these. Now, I do want to add a couple large crop fields also. Now remember, I do have everything unlocked, so don't freak when you see that. <laughs> when you see I already have the large crop fields, uh, don't freak. I I understand what I'm doing. Um, you know, I just wanted to. I'm doing this to show you guys exactly what the entire farm industry entails. So we're gonna come back down over here. We do have the farming. We do have everything unlocked farming wise, but we do need to create some of the the factories and the well in this case some of the barns that come with this with this industry. So let's go back over here. Now we do have a few things we we can add. So we're gonna add a farm maintenance building. I'm gonna actually add that right over here. Now I just realized I did not I need to make sure that this industry goes far enough down. So we're cutting in a tiny bit of our forest industry, but that should be okay. And my Xbox One is saving. There it goes. Okay, so what we're going to do is we already added the maintenance building. We're going to add... Now we do need to add a large... Let's add everything else and we'll add the large animal pastures after. All right, so we're going to add a couple flour mills. There we go. We'll add three. Then there is going to be a cattle shed, which we're going to add over here. Now, a lot of farm farming is creates a lot of traffic, so we need to be aware of this. Just giving you guys the heads up. Um, slaughterhouse. Okay, we'll we'll move that away from. So, like I said, this creates a lot of traffic, so just be aware. So now we do need to add the cattle, and we're gonna add we're gonna add a cattle area and slaughterhouse right off this main road, because they are actually pretty big buildings. So what I did add, just to show you guys what I added, I added a cattle shed, which will create animal product from our crops, which obviously our crops are right up here. Then I so I added a couple of those. Then I added a small barn, which will, it, which is storage essentially. Then I added a milking parlor, which will also create animal product. So, you know, it's the milking process for cows, obviously. It's self-explanatory. Then the flour mill is, will create from crops flour, which is one of our resources that we need to actually create um, different products once we have factories going. So. We have a few of those. We have actually three of those, and that is pretty much it. Now I'm gonna go to the slaughterhouse. So the slaughterhouse over here. So what the slaughterhouse does is it creates, hold on, sorry, I want, I'd rather have you guys see this. It creates more animal products, obviously. Um, what you're doing is it's, it's creating 176 tons and you know which will be very helpful um, making a lot of money and it, it's just it, it is it's very helpful honestly so um you know this is just a part of the farming industry then 
a large pasture. We can put that right there. And the large pasture, you can have pigs, cows, whatever. I'm going to use cows. And again, it's for animal products. So this is ever this is everything that the farm can create. So I'm going to add some pipes. Um, yeah, so basically animal uh, farming creates a lot of... Let's just go straight across. Creates a lot of flour and animal products. And basically what you can do later on is there are factories that will actually use those products. And you'll, you can make money off of it. And that's um, in the farming industry. That is what you're going to import and export out of your city is flour, animal products, stuff like that. So don't freak out. Um, you know, it's... <laughs> I know it's not as cool as the forest industry or 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 you know things like that, but you know it, it it the farming industry honestly does not make you a ton of money. Uh, it the oil industry makes the most, and I feel like the ore industry makes takes up the lot most land, and it doesn't give you the most bang for a dollar. Like I think honestly it. <laughs> The ore industry is huge, and it doesn't give you nearly enough profit as it should. But whatever, you know. This is, we're, I'm showing you the farming industry, so let's just get back to farming. And anyways, if you while I'm adding these power lines, if you would like, uh, please like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, you are on Sports Monkeys channel uh, right now. You're on my Twitch, actually, technically. Whoever's watching, but um, you know, please make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. And I do appreciate it. We are growing at a very rapid pace. A lot of people from PS4 and whatnot have been watching my videos. So I appreciate every single one of you for watching my tutorials. And, you know, keep, make sure you keep watching. And um, I do appreciate everything you guys have been doing. And so I am just adding the power lines, which looks ugly. Eventually we can get rid of these. But thank you guys for watching, commenting, and subscribing. You, got, you guys have been fantastic over the last few weeks. So thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Now, I do want to create a few more of these lovely fruit fields. What if I put one right here? Even though it'll hit the power line, which I'm okay with. The power... <clears throat> Yep, and the power does carry over. Okay, so that's good. So, before um, anybody freaks out, we might be starting to lose money, a little bit of money. Not because anything's, you know, what's going on is go uh, not working. It's just because uh, usually when you are, are building a force industry or any type of industry in general, uh, you normally don't start out with all five stars right away. So as you can tell if you go over here This is called the Glade Ranch. As you can tell we have a lot. Um, we're making negative two thousand dollars Because everything is just starting up. So don't freak out But um as time goes on we will be making money now. Let's let I'll, I'll just show you that um, everything in the forest industry upgrade to a five star we're using our, we have a lot of raw materials. We have a lot of plain timber. We have a lot of paper and we're making 13,000. So like I said, eventually once everything starts going and it, it starts moving at a fast rate and everything, you know, all the trucks and whatnot start going, basically you'll start making money. So basically we have to be patient with our, our farming industry. So it's not a big deal that we're not, you know, 100% making a ton of money right now which is not a big deal and um you know the money will come i'm not really worried about it but um you know so just just to show you that now let's see whoa wow our city needs car oh and that is partly why oh my gosh okay so while you guys are still watching oh my god that's bad I was not honestly paying attention to the city. I was paying attention to the farming industry and wow. All right, let's start the simulation again. We do need, wow, that is, that got really bad because our landfill. So if you ever wonder, a landfill can fill up and you do have to empty it. So just giving you that heads up. Um, and it, since it filled up, my city became trashy. 
and that's why we have a couple empty buildings, but whatever, you know, it is what it is, not a big deal. Now, I do want to, before I end this episode, I do want to expand our residential a little bit. Um, now, the problem is, is I did kind of waste all my money on the farming industry just to show you what that entailed, but I'm going to try to expand over here our residential really quick. So, let's get over here and grab this. Now, eventually I am going to add, I am going to make that, <laughs> I am going to make that lovely, I'm going to make, I am going to make that highway a little bit better looking later on. Um, I just did that for the time being because I needed, I needed it basically. So there's a little hill here. What can, can we actually go on top of it and actually make it, oh, did not mean to do that. We're going to, we're going to put people, people are going to be able to live on top of a hill. Yeah, we need a lot of, okay. Our garbage is being taken care of. All right. Hmm. We are going to need a lot of residential. I'm not going to cap this off. Can we go over the hill? I can't believe it. City Skylines actually allows that. That is pretty terrible and funny at the same time. There's that. Perfect. So I just wanted to create this little neighborhood. I know it's not the prettiest thing in the world because there's a giant hill there, but you know, it is what it is. And we're just working with what we got. So let's bring over the pipes and we will need to add power to it. Now I will have to add a highway connection over here, which I plan on doing anyways because of the farming industry. So that shouldn't be a problem. I'll do that basically right now and then we'll end today's episode for today. Let's see if we can, let's see if we can do it. I know I have to stretch this in between. I, I want to have a connection. Good. So watch this. I'm, I want to have a connection like this to go in between there. Now let's add, now, now we do have to watch out for those power lines, which I put over there for, I was trying to keep them not hidden per se, but try to keep them out of the way, but whatever. I try, I tried. Anyways, let's just, oh man. There you go. So I'm adding an on-ramp and off-ramp going this way. I'm going to have to fix those power lines. I know it, it's horrifying. It's all right. I'm going to have to edit that. Yeah, I know. I'm going to, oh God. And it made it look terrible. Okay. Not delete all. I'm going to fix that road later on. I will fix it. It does not look right. I completely agree. And they need power. Those farms don't need power. That is no. That is not right. These skylines, that is not right. That is not right. Anyways, all right, so let's fill in over here. We have the water. We have everything we really need. Um, this is just going to be a little town. It's not going to be anything special. Don't freak out. When you watch me doing this, it's just, it's, it, it is what it is. And it's, oh, and I do not want to paint. There you go. Paint that. So remember, keep all of your commercial on a avenue. So your residents do not complain about noise pollution. And again, we're just adding this little, we're, we're adding, we're adding this residential on the hill. Fantastic. And th that those houses over there will be eventually destroyed. But I needed to add this little neighborhood. I guess I could. I mean, it's on the hill. I mean, that could be kind of cool, right? 
Education's fine. Education's fine. We don't have a college, so that is something we definitely need to think about later on. And I forgot to add my own power lines to over here. That shouldn't be too bad of a stretch, honestly. Um, that looks... I, I honestly hate power lines. They look ugly. Now I do know for computers there is a mod where you can actually place like like the blue power grid and you can actually move it but again I'm on an Xbox One so we don't have that ability but I'm going to be wrapping this up for today. Um, I appreciate you guys watching and um, you know this is like it like I said this is the farming tutorial for City Skylines Industries and I appreciate you guys watching. Have a great rest of your day, and uh, hopefully you guys are still staying, staying safe, and have a good one, guys.